So as you guys probably know, this year's Game Awards is coming up real soon, and I'm talking like real soon my boy like two days soon so you better have that calendar marked and of course just like last year if you want to watch it live along with your boy make sure to go check out twitch.tv slash ivory xl hit that follow button you know the notifications all that good stuff man and you know you'll get notified when we're about to wild out my boy i feel like these conference events like e3 the game awards directs and all that stuff i feel like those are like the most fun to stream i have the most fun with you guys so i'd love to see y'all there and also i feel like the game awards are just fun overall i mean obviously we get to see some of the year's games get put up against each other see who wins which award and obviously people are wondering who's gonna win game of the year and honestly I'd be content if either Resident Evil 2 wins or Smash Brothers wins I feel like those are the most worthy contenders in my opinion but you know obviously we got to go check it out to see who wins but that's not the only thing that happens during the event because as you guys know last year that boy Reggie showed up he was wilding out having a good time talking about all this Nintendo stuff announcing game game awards and all that stuff and um uh, he had a little secret under, you know, he had a little secret under his palm, man. Because that man, Reggie, last year revealed a DLC fighter for Smash, and that fighter was none other than Joker from Persona 5. And you know how I feel about Persona 5, my boy. I mean, for some of the people that were in the stream for last year's Game Awards, you know that we were going crazy, bro. Not even just us in the stream, but everybody in the whole entire internet. Because it was totally unexpected, man. Like, like it took over, like, the whole screen and stuff like that. Like, bro, I was like, yo, what the hell is going on, man? And, like, bro, as soon as I saw that Persona 5 sign, I'm like, bro. It's happening, bro. It's happening, man. And I honestly was thinking to myself, damn, how are they going to surpass last year's Game of Work? Because that reveal was, in my opinion, top notch. But of course, that man, Jeff, Joff, uh, Jeff, I think, that man, of course, went sicko mode again, bro. And he brought back that man, Reggie. So that boy, Reggie, he said, my body is ready once again. So he's going to be at this year's Game Awards again. He's returning. You know, he's about to wild out again. And you already know. You already know, even though he's not with Nintendo anymore, he still has a major, major influence and pull in the Nintendo and gaming community. So it'd be fun to see him, you know, announce some games and stuff and, you know, maybe even announce another DLC fighter because, you know, uh, Smash is supposed to have another DLC pack. And um, I feel like this will be a perfect, perfect time to announce, an announce another DLC fighter. In my opinion, I feel like a good DLC fighter to be announced would be uh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, even though... In my opinion, I am not too familiar with Kingdom Hearts, but I just feel like Sora is just such a good fit just looking at him. I feel like I can already imagine his moves in the game and stuff like that, so I think Sora would be a good pick because, as you guys know, the Smash leaks have been insane. And not even the leaks, just like the deconfirmations of characters that are going to be in, like Dante, Doom Guy, Steve from, Mine from Minecraft, bro. I, I don't even know who's going to be in this time, but in my opinion, I think Sora would be a good pick. But obviously, <laughs> you're, you never know with this man, Reggie, Nintendo, and all of them, so it's about to be a crazy ass time. The only thing I I hope that doesn't happen in the game awards is just every category getting snubbed out with one game and i feel like that game for this year is going to be death stranding because i think last year was red dead redemption 2 because red dead redemption 2 was completely just you know bodying all the categories but luckily god of war <laughs> my favorite game of last year won that but uh yeah this time i hope that death stranding doesn't win because i, I know a lot of speculations are going down that death stranding is just going to win every category just for it being a kojima game and I, hopefully that's not the case i want to see some variety like i want I don't think even Death Stranding is in this category, but I want Fire Emblem Three Houses to win, I think, a best strategy game or something like that in that category, because in my opinion, that is my game of the year, bro, because I, I put so many hours in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Such a good-ass game. I've even, like I said, I'm even wearing a short right now for Fire Emblem Three Houses, so, uh, that is one game that I do want to win this category. But in my opinion, the category that I'm waiting for the result for the most is fighting game of the year. Because I know Smash is in that category. And, you know, Smash is a very worthy contender. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's really popular with everybody. And in, in my opinion, I feel like it has the, the, you know, the biggest chance of winning. But Jump Force is also in that category. And you already know how infamous Jump Force is. And the thing that I'm worried about is that uh, Jump Force might actually win. Because you had a bunch of people. A bunch of people meme voting it. You know, you had big names like Zero and everybody meme voting voting in and you know people usually tend to follow a trend so i wouldn't be surprised if people meme vote you know jump force and jump force ends up winning because you know if jump force wins over smash brothers especially the internet's gonna be on fire bro bandai namco is gonna have a fucking field day telling hey bro i fucking told y'all guys y'all keep fucking playing around you're gonna have our game win but yeah i feel like that would be really funny to see i mean i wouldn't be mad if jump force actually wins i mean it's it just more fuel for the memes i guess you know and also maybe we'll see some other special guests other than reggie appear at the game awards you never know but overall i feel like we're about to have a hype filled meme filled time at the game awards about to have a fun ass time and hopefully i see some of you guys there so make sure once again to check out
twitch.tv slash ivoryxl. That's where we're going to be live. You know, notifications, all that good stuff. You already know the deal, man. But other than that, guys, it's been Ivory. And uh, yeah, peace. Peace.